Hey, good morning everybody, how are you? It's Dan here, your storage auction treasure hunter guy, and I, I am on my way to the Bronx this morning. There are auctions at three separate facilities. First one starts at 10, and then the other two uh, immediately thereafter. And <clears throat> hoping that we're gonna have a good day today. I did call tomorrow uh, this morning, the first uh, facility I'm heading to, the uh, auction starts at 10, and there uh, will be 11 rooms available. So uh, I'm hoping that I have a better day today than I did yesterday. I went to Queens yesterday, and uh, it was a bust. Um, not a long drive, crossed the Whitestone Bridge. It took me maybe a half hour to get there. There was one room available, and it was a junk room. But, you know, it happens in treasure hunting. Not every single one of these excursions is going to be a, a home run. In fact, maybe just one out of ten or two out of ten are going to be uh, really good, worthwhile. I mean, storage auction treasure hunting is a lot of work. And part of that workload is attending many auctions so that you can find the rooms that are worth bidding on and, of course, bidding wisely. So, anyway, go into this one this morning, and then there are two immediately thereafter. So, uh, if I do wind up a winning bidder on any, at any of these uh, auctions, I will take you inside the units with me. So, stick with me. Let's see what happens. And I'll get the camera rolling again soon enough. All right, so here we are in the Bronx. Uh, got here a little bit early. Uh, the auction doesn't start for about another half, a, half an hour, 30 minutes. Um, right now, I'm in the South Bronx, uh, right in the shadow of Yankee Stadium. The stadium's maybe just a couple of blocks from here. And this area has gone through a really nice revitalization. After they built that stadium, they put up shopping centers and cleaned up the streets, and it's a really nice neighborhood now. I mean, there are a number of uh, areas in the South Bronx which, you know, are still shitty. But uh, this particular area is real nice, uh, thanks in large part to uh, the new Yankee Stadium. Um, anyway, so the auction's going to kick off in about a half an hour. Um, and again, I'll uh, keep the camera rolling in the event I buy anything and take you with me. All right, I'm heading off to the second location now, the second auction location now, uh, driving through the streets of the Bronx and right over there is Yankee Stadium. So I just wanted to give you a quick clip of Yankee Stadium while I'm driving by it. Um, you know, again, this uh, neighborhood now is pretty nice since they built this new stadium, and it's a really, really beautiful stadium. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick clip. There it is. Gate number six to eight, enter Yankee Stadium. There's the New York Yankee store, part of the stadium. And anyway, that's it. Going to the second auction now. Okay, so we just pulled into the second storage facility that has an auction today, also here in the Bronx. That first facility, there were nine rooms available. A couple of them looked marginal, uh, but nothing that I wanted to get involved in. Nothing that I wanted to expend the effort to have to clean out, especially tie up $100 in a clear-out deposit. The second um, storage facility that I'm here now is the first time this particular auctioneer has ever done an auction here. So my inclination is that there's an accumulation of uh, inventory here. But I'm about to walk in and find out. Um, that's just my hunch. I don't know for certain. Uh, and I'm trying to buy with um, I'm trying to buy with patience today. Like I said, I don't want to plunk down uh, money on a marginal room and tie up additional money on a clear out deposit when I know that there were two other uh, auction locations today. This is the second. Now there's a third one after this. So while uh, we're using patience today, we're about to go in and hopefully uh, you know something good will happen. I'll keep you guys posted. Whew. All right, heading home now. It's been a long day and my inclination was correct. I went to that second storage uh, location, that second auction location, and they had 30 rooms up for sale. So my suspicion of uh, they not having had an auction for a long time was correct. I wound up buying two rooms. I bought two rooms on the cheap today. I got one for 10 bucks and then I bought a second room for uh, 20. So I got away today for thirty dollars, two rooms. But I'm I'm heading home now. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and uh, do my treasure hunting. So I'm gonna end this video now, and um, uh, I will uh, create a second, a separate video for the actual going into the rooms and looking around. So 
That's it. Keep an eye out for my next upcoming video so you can do the treasure hunting with me. My name is Dan. I'm signing off for now. And I ask that you please subscribe to the, my channel if you're not yet a subscriber. And comment below if there's anything you'd like to comment on, uh, which I'd said in this video. Go ahead and um, enter your comments now. And that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.